So today's show, um, though it was largely about Urban Kryptonite and the brothers that um, that directed and wrote Urban Kryptonite and the whole vegan mafia. What's up, people? What's up, vegan mafia? Um, it took a special turn with me because it had a lot to do with my own personal journey to health and wellness. Um, wellness, excuse me. The people who watch the Biscavi Show regularly know that I probably started off somewhere in the area of 100 and 173 pounds. Chart that because women usually don't tell these things, so I'm telling. Um, probably about 170 pounds or so. And life took some turns and just things started happening. Before I knew it, I was up to 212 pounds. Yeah, 212 pounds. Plenty of video. Uh, there was Gabby showing me interviewing people at 200 pounds. Not a good look at all. Not a good look, especially when you're barely 5'2". Um, it actually didn't do anything bad to me as far as cholesterol levels. Everything was fine. My cholesterol was fine. I wasn't pre-diabetic, so on and so forth. But that doesn't mean it wasn't doing any damage to my organs. So I woke up one day and said, Ugh, how did this happen? This is not a good look for my wellness. For my beauty, that's my vanity talking. And decided I gotta get this off. So that's what I did. I didn't actually make a conscious decision to go vegan. I kind of just cleaned up my eating a little bit. I didn't, eat, I haven't eaten pork for twenty some odd years anyway, so that was easy. Um, I cut my portions down drastically, and was eating very clean, only certain green vegetables, and I limited my protein intake through meat. Um, and I really just ate. A lot of fish and shrimp, lobster, very little beef. Um, if I felt a little anemic, a little low on iron, piece of uh, beef liver every now and again. Then I realized, well, wait a minute. Do I need the meat? So I said, well, let me just try see what happens. So I cut away chicken and beef and just went with fish. Not even real realizing at the time that I would have been considered a pescatarian, but I was doing what I was doing. And I was working out an hour in the morning, and sometimes an hour in the afternoon. But I was really drinking down like probably about a gallon of water a day. So that's how that started. Before I knew it, I was literally dropping probably about five pounds a week easily. Five pounds a week and inches. The inches will come off. And I said, okay, this is working. But I still had a little bit of mucus buildup going on. I said, I wonder if that's from the meat. Somebody said, nope. That's the dairy. I said, okay, well, let's see. I'm a big milk drinker, and I mean cow milk, full, whole milk, not 1%, 2%. That was going to be a challenge for me. I knew that. So I said, let me see if I can do it. Guess what? I did it. I just woke up one day and decided, I'm not doing it. I'm not eating it. And it was really just that simple. My challenge for me, I have an unbelievable sweet tooth. The sugar was probably... The biggest challenge for me ever. Okay, wait, wait. Lobster. Lobster was a bit of a challenge, but it had to be sugar on top of that. So that's where my journey kind of began. Then a very dear friend of mine introduced me to the 40-Day Fruit Fast family on Facebook. And um, that opened up my eyes a lot. And from there, he introduced me, and the group introduced me to um, the work of Minister Inky. And the more I read, the more I decided, this is not for me. I don't want flesh at all. I don't want dairy, no cheese. I'm done with the milk. Then I still had the small issue of, what am I going to do about sugar? I'm a baker. I make custom cakes. Yes, I have a 9 to 5, but I do custom cakes. So, the more I read, and I was trying to figure out why I could not kick my sugar habit. The more I read the works of Mr. Inky um, and Black Genetics and Black Gene Theory, that's when I learned sugar has the same effect on the brain as cocaine. I'm not even a drug user. I've never been a drug user, but sugar was as close to cocaine as I was going to get, and it had taken over me. Um, then I decided, how do I fix that? Let's see. How do I fix that? I did some more reading, and then I learned about D Health Store, Brother Dehudi, um products. 
From there, I did the full body detox. Yeah. That was a challenge. Full body detox. 20 days of taking um, herbal capsules. Five different kinds. And for every, every cleaning your liver, your blood, all types of different things. Go on the healthstore.com. You'll find it. And you want to have a raw diet. Now, for me, who likes to eat my food hot and cooked, that was a little bit of a challenge, too. But guess what? In the long run, in the short run, I guess the long story made short is it worked out. Because in no time, in a matter of months, I dropped 65 pounds. So I didn't actually, like I said, I didn't actually plan to go vegan. But it worked out that way. I happened to trip and fall into veganism. And it's been almost nine months. So not turning back. This is what it is for me. So everybody that tells me I can't do it, I have to have meat, I was a meat eater. I like my, my steak bleeding, and I did it. So you can do it. Give yourself 30 days to change it, and believe me, it'll work out for you. You'll do it. Just another legendary shoot for the Miss Gabby show. And you know who I am? I am Miss Gabby. And we're out here representing for DVNEB Music. This panel is, is serious. This is like a homecoming of sorts for one of the kings that's up here. There he goes, showing it all. <laughs> but all the brothers up here are deep. We're going to jump in. We have, we're going to talk holistic medicine, holistic food, vegan health, and vegan lifestyle. Um, we're at the Learning Tree Multicultural Center, so we have to thank them for allowing us access for this two-day lecture with the brothers that are up here that we're going to speak with. Um, today, the show is about Urban Kryptonite. It's a film that we're screening today. We actually had, well, they had a screening in Harlem last summer where I was introduced to the film. I've only been vegan nine months, so that was a great leap in to the lifestyle for me. And like they say, knowledge is power. You can do something, but it's so much easier to do it when you know why you're doing it and the benefits you're getting from it. So I have to thank everyone up here for putting this film together because it definitely made an impact on myself. Thank you. You're welcome. So the name of the film is called Urban Kryptonite, African Roots, Foreign Diseases. Now, we're going to start with Saladin. Yes. All right. Um, as a director, whose vision was this? You know, I think it was the vision of the universe and the powers to be. Okay. You know, it started from my brother here, Coach Chiefs. Uh He had wrote the book a year previous, and uh, he wanted it to, to turn it into a film. Okay. And the way we all met, us three brothers, my brother right here from another mother, uh, Mr. Tehuti Magra, uh, it was very organic. Yeah. It was very organic. So I would say in combination with the universe, it was our visions being manifested through the universe because we're all from three different locations and okay. we came together. No previous knowledge of each other. Wow. Didn't come up in the same neighborhoods. He's on the West Coast, right. Midwest, East Coast. Okay. So. Well, we have two brothers from the East Coast. Oh, that, oh my man, Inky. We can't yeah, forget we, Inky. He's yeah. got the East Coast. Yeah, idea. yeah. And how long did it take to compile the footage? Oh my God. Well, we had about, when we finished, we had about 55 hours over a span of about nine months. Okay. Um, it took a while to get it condensed down to four hours. Okay. So yeah, there's a lot of extra footage that we'll be releasing also in a uh, behind the <coughs> scenes DVD, which will be coming out, which will be showing the making of. Okay. We have more excerpts from the good brother Inky. Okay. I mean, he's, it was so much knowledge. We just couldn't fit it all, even in the four hour DVD. Yeah, I've seen the lectures, especially Inky's, and he goes, and I'm like, wasn't this supposed to be a 45-minute lecture? He does. It's like one of my shows. We're supposed to shoot for 45 minutes, two hours <laughs> later. We're going, yeah. you know what? Let's just cut it here. Let's just cut it here. But that's what this is about. Um, did any of you brothers expect this film to make the impact that it did? The intent when we began was for it to make the, in, the impact that it's making. Uh, we actually anticipate that it will make a, a greater impact. It's like when you call somebody on the phone, and 
they don't pick up. You don't call them for them not to pick up. You call because you expect them to pick up. Right. And for you to call, and you know how some people say, well, I know they ain't gonna pick up, I'm gonna call anyway. Right. Why would you call if you expecting them? So this, we fully intend for this to reach our people. That's why we put the effort in to get the information out on a, not just a national scale, but international scale. Right. Because most of, uh, a large part of Africa and the Caribbean has been very westernized. Okay. And what was consumed in days of past, you know, a lot of the plantains, the yucca, the black eyed peas, the habituelas, beans, right. um, a lot of that stuff is now being replaced. Now you see more McDonald's in places like Dominican Republic right. and all these different places. So you start to see those. So we understand that everybody needs to help. This is not just the quote unquote blacks in America. Right. So we definitely intended for it. It just takes time when you're not going through the Hollywood um, route. Right. When you're going through what uh, Tehuti and Saladin deem as the, uh, what you call it, the grass stream, right? Uh, Tehuti said the grass the stream. The grass stream. And Holly Real. Yeah, grass okay. stream yeah. and Holly Real. So, you know, a lot of people say grassroots. No, this is not grassroots. This is grass stream. Combining grassroots with mainstream. Right. Mm. So that's really... Uh, what we're doing so it's going to take more time but somebody the right person is going to see it and it's going to get out there organically and we don't have to say that we sold right. our souls or we beg somebody right. you know you don't have to beg anybody to be to get with greatness right. you know if I see a beautiful woman walking down the street she doesn't have to beg me to pay attention right. to her because I see it right those are the words of Mr. Cochise to rock style y'all now um, being of Cuban descent partial Cuban descent you made way through Detroit how long have you been vegan and what made you decide to do that? Well, the bulk of my diet he is vegan. I always tell, you know, Inky always, he likes to get on me. And uh, Saladin <laughs> doesn't too much. But the bulk of my diet is vegan food for the most part, especially when I'm in the bulk. The, uh, the DR. Yeah, the right. bulk of my diet. 80%. 80%. <laughs> 80%. Uh, but that, what that means is, what that means <laughs> is that I don't consume. No, listen, no, right. what that means is that I don't, you don't see me consuming. Uh, meat a lot. You rarely would see me consuming meat. Okay. To this date, how many times have you ever seen me consume right. meat even though I've told you right. that I may consume meat? How many times right. could you actually say you've seen me it's consume meat? It's not something you meat? miss probably yeah. at this point. Right. Exactly. So, so you don't have it. But I, I just leave that open because right. if I'm starving, right. if I'm in a jam, right. you know, I will consume it. But Survival. if I have options right. to not do it, then I'm going to go the other way, you know. Right. So now when you talk about french fries right. or something like that, now, <laughs> right. now you're talking about something. So um, and as a correction, my father's side is Dominican okay. Republic. Okay. My mother's side, as we say, Lejano, mm -hmm. is, is Cubano okay. from Cuba. Montaza's Cuba. Right. They had a very big uh, slave uh, transition, a slave acquisition during that time, which is why a lot of us take the name from Irish descendants, Mick Swine, Mick Duffy, Mick right. Murtry. So you see that Ireland had a great impact uh, coming through Cuba, through the United States. So. All of us are colonized, but um, for that specific subject, we took on the name of McSwine, so I have my mother's uh, last name, but nobody over there speaks any kind of Spanish. We're far removed, you right. know, so I suspect that many others probably have the Cuban descent. If you were to look at uh, a Cuban of today, mm -hmm. a lot of them have, you know, a lot of them are my color, Minister Inky's yes. color, a yes. lot of them are. And you say, you from Cuba, I thought you were light-skinned. Right. But it doesn't work like that. Right. We're everywhere. My family, my mother's side of family is from Honduras, so we go oh, from high yellow and green eyes to folks that are darker than me. Still stepping. You know, so I understand that. Now, um, as 80% vegan, as you would say, it's good for people to see you as a model because people tend to think vegans are not thick, they're not healthy, they're not, the women are not shapely. But you're an athlete, you play basketball. I have some basketball roots. Okay. I don't play basketball, but I, we'll talk about that later. But in case, so it's nice to see because <laughs> I have guys around me that um, are athletes, whether they're power lifters, ball players, football, basketball, martial artists, and a lot of their concern is, well, I don't want to go vegan because I'm going to lose power. I'm going to lose the ability to do X, Y, and Z. And, but these are all things that you do with a vegan lifestyle. I mean, you're not skinny. I've seen your pictures. Mm -hmm. So you're slender, but you're bulk, muscle. How do you maintain that? Uh, a lot of it, here's the thing, and I'll let Tehuti expand upon it more okay. because he provides 
many different products, whether it's the hemp protein, the pea protein, the rice protein, many different products for athletes because we're under the notion that we can't get everything we need from plants. The thing about the body is that if you have a knee problem, if you have a knee injury, um, and you consume enough calcium, the calcium is not gonna stay in one particular part. The body knows where to take that calcium. So you don't need to put a note with the food saying calcium go to the knee because the knee is injured. So when, when you're in need of protein, when you're consuming plant-based diets, a lot of green leafy foods have the protein, even some fruits have protein in minimal amounts. Right. But protein is not the, the just the end all be all primary thing. Right. A lot of the brain runs on carbohydrates and sugars. So right. it's, it's not just about the protein, but I'll pass it to Tahuti. He can go more in depth yes. because he provides a lot of those products. This this man on the end, this Tahuti Mott Rod. Now this this man is amazing himself. He runs a, a million dollar business. I'm telling you a business. I know. That's what I do. Oh, I, all, I don't know that I tell business, but I, you know I delve into yeah. things and they just uh, come out. But like I'm proud to be able to say that. I'm proud to be able to say that because again. People think that, oh, they're paupers, they're vegans. Yeah. You know, there's no money in holistic medicine. It's just about feeling good and looking good. And you've proven by your success that that's just not the case. Right, right. And to finish up on what the good brother Cochise uh, expounded on as far as the whole protein thing was 100% on the money. A lot of it comes from misunderstanding, mm -hmm. uh, programming, a false notion of what protein really is. As a matter of fact, protein is a law of planet Earth. You can't even be on the planet without protein. Right. They'll tell you to eat ants for protein, you know how small ants are. Right. You know, if you eat enough of them, you get the protein. So if you eat enough of what Mother Nature has provided, you're gonna be fine. Right. You're gonna be just like the animals in the wild, okay? The animals in the wild do not eat a food predicated upon getting protein. Right, <laughs> right. Getting vitamin C, right. vitamin O. Oh, what is this here, and I, does this have, they, they're not like us, right. you see, so they don't have the problem, problems like us. And if you look at the biggest animals in the wild, the hippopotamus, mm -hmm. the rhinoceros, the gorilla. the gorilla, the horse, they're vegan, they eat plants and they're big. That's right, sure. You know, so I tell all these right, big sure. cats who talk about, you know, you gotta eat meat for protein, get your behind in a ring with a gorilla. Exactly. My money's on the gorilla to Absolutely. take your head off. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> From a, a diet of bananas, you know. So, Absolutely. so you know, after all, you know, most, most athletes, and this is not to take a jab at most athletes, right. but come on. You know, right. I mean, after all, they live dumbbells. They don't live smart bells. They live right. dumbbells. So they're not really the the, the brainiest people. Right. Again, that's just a general statement. Right. You know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but um. Bombs and then, away. Right. You know, and then getting back to the whole like the entrepreneurial aspect, um, the health aspect. I mean, vegans are people. Right. Okay. And. Um, if a vegan is smart, because we have some not so smart vegans out there who don't understand that oh, just right. because you're not right. eating what is derived from an animal, you know, uh, it's healthy. Right. You know, you got vegans who eat potato chips. Right. Right? Made That's out of like potatoes. my weakness. You know what I'm saying? Chocolates and whole cuts right? and stuff like that. <laughs> Listen, you know? if I could tell on you, I could tell on myself. That's, <laughs> I mean, I don't indulge often, but every now and then I'm still in trans. No, I'm, I'm past transition, but I do. I'm still learning. She's so keeping then, it real. No, she's, absolutely. She's just keeping it real. I, you know, yeah. as I said, he would make up one, but in any yeah. case, um, I still have those moments where I'm still yeah. learning. So, right. from from the same brothers that sit on this panel right now, I'm learning that okay. You're, you think your body's wanting uh, potato chips, but your body's really looking for X, Y, Z mineral. Right. So that's where yeah. I'm at in my transition. There you go. You know, I don't stop learning, which is great. Right. Even still afterwards, we still fall down and get up. Right. Some people position it differently. Right. So some people position their falling down, getting up as, well, I, 80%. Right. <laughs> right, right, Oops, oops, is that another bomb? Is that another jab? Like, let's go before that gets out of here. So, um, your business dispels the lie that um, melanated folks, our folks, yeah. are not into well-being and holistic health. That's what right. it has done. Yeah, yeah, uh, another uh, false notion. Right. If you educate the people, right. yeah, I've created something called market education. So you market your health products. You can market any products, but for me, being in health, you market your health products, and at the same time, you educate. Right. You see, and we are people who really need a lot of education. So if you do the education and you make it affordable, 
and you predicate that with love, right. then you're going to make those sales right. in abundance. Right. And, and then the abundance manifests financially as well, too. So a lot of us are missing that. Right. We may have the love. Some of us may drop a little knowledge, but we won't make it affordable. Or if it's affordable, then you know we lack the knowledge. Something is missing. All the components must be there. Right. And when that's the case, you will get love from the people. I'm here because of the people. Right. It may look like I'm out here on my own dollar, right. but no, my dollars come from the people. And so it's going the, back to your community. All community. day long. So the people got me out here. So the people will support. The synergistic energy that's passing from one end to the other has got my heart literally like palpitating. It's crazy. That's the, Look, it's the dream it team. Is, it is. It is. It's crazy. It's the dream team. I can tell you yeah. that when I'm doing a show, I really get anxious and nervous. You know, you know, it dispels after five, ten minutes before. I was fine the whole time we were setting up, and as soon as I was saying, "All right, guys, come on, let's go." this anxiety overcame me and it didn't feel <laughs> yeah. right yeah. and it wasn't like oh my god i'm so nervous because no one up here makes me nervous and then i realized it's just the energy yes yeah. that's right so i'm taking it in just i'm, I'm taking it in this one is sitting on the far right for a very good reason it's thick <laughs> <laughs> for a very good reason but um i have a note here so to who do you are herbalist and for, listen not even for the folks out there you're a metaphys a meta physician phys physician yes right Explain to myself and the folks who don't know, because I did not know what it was and I still don't know, what exactly is that and what do you do? Meta is above or beyond physics, the physical. So it's beyond the physical. It's dealing with the, the spiritual, the intangible you know, aspect of life, you know, which is the, the primary aspect of, of life. And all things that happen physically are rooted in that which is beyond the physical or the metaphysical. Some people say the, the spiritual. And so as a metaphysician, I help people to see the, the unseen causes okay. of life experiences on the mundane. Right. So for example, when people have eye problems, mm -hmm. you know, they'll say, hey, Tudor, you got something natural for the eyes? And of course I do. Of course. But the physical is, is not the causative factor. Right. You know, so yeah, I could recommend bilberry or you know, blueberry or eye bride or whatever else, right. but it's not getting at the root. Right. In order to get to the root, we have to deal with the metaphysics. Okay. So we have to ask the question, what is it metaphysically or spiritually that you have an issue with seeing the truth of? So metaphysics means above or beyond the physical. And behind everything physical, there is a spiritual or the intangible. So pertaining to health, I use metaphysics to help give people insight into the root causes of their maladies, or pathologies, or injury, illnesses, whatever it is you want to call it. There is that spiritual component. And it, it's a very important aspect because that's where the healing really lies. You don't really have to take anything physically, right. bring anything into the body. All you have to do is really undo things that you have done predicated upon the wrong thoughts. And as you know, thoughts are intangible. Right. So metaphysics gives us insight into healing. It allows us to be responsible for our own healing because we're responsible for the pathology in the first place. For example, if an individual is dealing with an eye disorder, a so-called disorder or pathology, an ocular disease as they call it in the medical uh, world, a metaphysician would ask the person, what is it that they are not, that they are unable or unwilling to see the truth of? Okay. And because they have not dealt with it, the body intelligence kicks in, 
and messes with the physical body because you're physical. Right. Forget the spiritual, right. physical. So if something pops up on the body, oh, that don't catch our attention. Right. You see, and so we will deal with it. You see, so when the eyes start tripping, it's like, oh snap, what's going on with my eyes? Right. Now it got your attention. It got your attention. Right. Yeah. And see, and I'm thankful to the body intelligence for that, but metaphysics helps us to understand that. Okay, and that it also, it takes people away from this magic pill mindset. Hey, Tune, what you got for my eyes? Right. Well, how about, you know, you start seeing the truth of what you don't want to see the truth of. You know she's no good for you. You right. know he's no good for you, but you don't want to see the truth of that. Right. You see, so it's not about Bilberry right. or Eyebright. Right. It's about you seeing the truth. Now, those oh. that you mentioned are actually two of your products. Yes. On yes. dhealthstore.com. Yes, yeah, I have a product for every physical organ of the human body, and the organs tie into disease. Right. You know, I don't have products for diseases. Right. See, that's all that FDA stuff. I have right. products for the organs right. that which the FDA right. does not regulate. They can right. regulate diseases, but not organs. So I have products for every organ in the human body. And this but is it all ties true. in to met metaphysics. This it's is the truth because I did the detox. You did the full body detox? Man, I was like, nothing's happening. Then all of a sudden, my face broke out. I said, okay. Something's happening. Something's happening. <laughs> we're getting right. Right. We're, we're getting right now. Yeah, that's right. You know, it was hard the first two or three days, but yeah. you like to eat. I like to eat. Yeah. So, yeah. and dad will be Sagittarius. Okay. I'm a true Sagittarius yes, for are. sure. Yes, you are. <laughs> For certain <laughs> reasons, <laughs> there's no problems. I, I won't say. go off into we'll that. We'll do that off camera, but I am. But the body <laughs> detox is, um, yeah, is definitely the truth. And I am the first one to say I did it for the 20 days. Hmm. Wow. And the cleansing was the best. It was nice to go to the vegan lifestyle, but when you do that cleanse for 20 days and then go back into eating well, yeah. it's a different feeling. Yeah. You feel bright, you yep. feel light, your skin changes. Yeah, you know it's gonna, it's gonna, everybody's gonna react differently. You mm -hmm. might have a breakout, you may not, but that's your body healing. It's that's gotta, right. it's gotta do something to let that's you know it's right. working, and it did. That's right. So I told my girlfriends at work, and one of them jumped on it. And that's right. She's a friend of mine calls her my drone, but she's my homegirl. And hey. I've got her and her husband on it. In. That's right. And he went from vegetarian to mm. vegan and she transitioned slowly That's into so. vegan. So I'm doing my part. By detoxing, through you. Detoxing does the body good. It does. It does. It does. Folks need to detox for a whole bunch of stuff. But again, that's another. Let me that's jump right. over to Inky because we're short for time yes. and we do want to go through some other products. Um, we'll put the links up for your site. He has great prices, natural products, skin, hair, internal health, baby products. Is there? So we need y'all to look around and support. More. <laughs> Grand's opening. Grand, Grand closing. closing. <laughs> brother, brother, Minister Inky, son real. Now, I left you for last on purpose because you are Bronx native. Yes, ma'am. So I had to leave. Home of the homeless. Yes. That's right. Had to leave my Bronx dude for last. Because again, I'm proud of all the brothers up here, but it's some, something about saying when I have a dude from my BX, hometown up here to represent, yes, it's beautiful. I feel a, definitely a sense of pride. Yes, ma'am. So, um, as I know, you have Amber Institute. Yes, ma'am. And you jumped into that because one of your babies yes. had gotten sick. Hit by a car. Hit by a car. Yep. And you healed her. Yeah. The, the long story, the, the short story is hospitals do what they do. They want right. to pump her with medicine. This is not working. Let's pump her with Correct. more medicine. Well they, well, they said that she would never walk again, so right. they didn't even give us an option. So right. we really didn't even have a choice at that point. Right. But um, she had a broken neck, uh, broken spine in three places, mm -hmm. crushed pelvis, hips, left leg shattered. Right. So I had her back in school. The accident happened August 28th. Um, she was back in school with her friends that February, that March. Okay. Not missing the beat. So she went from not able to ever walk again, again. to back in school <laughs> back within in a school. matter of months. And Amber Institute is named after and, Right. And then and, and the Mama Tomics is the solution that I did that. We are with. gonna go to the table also yes. because obviously that's powerful. And you also have your own line of products. Yes, ma'am. That started off with Amber Institute and yes, it just flourished from there. Yes, and as a sad way for something to come as an inspiration of. 
it was a blessing that, like they say, everything happens for a reason in the yes, universe. Yes. And it said that she had to be the reason, but. But many, yeah, many people well, have <laughs> benefited mm -hmm. from there. And then um, now we've been lucky enough to springboard into water. Um, yes, plasma water. Yeah, so I'm excited. I'm glad about to be a sponsor and investor. Yes, in that. yes, I'm in. yes. I'm that's in. that's one of the um, the biggest things that I'm excited about. Um, it's the first ever um, living water. Right. You know, we're not doing any plastic. Right. Um, no reverse osmosis, purified, none right. of that. We had our own underground aquifer, so we're pulling the water right up. Right. It comes up. Um, we got the laboratory test. It, it's uh, more calcium, more magnesium, more trace minerals than any of the other waters on the market. Right. Um, some of the best, like Fiji, like we got them like three times the amount of minerals. Right. So it's, it's heavy. It it's, is. It's heavy. So Plasma Plus, Plasma Plus is the name. That'll Plasma be out. Plus. Yeah, He's that'll... already released it. You, you debuted in Detroit. Right, right. right. A, little, a little, a little, we, we played with it in Detroit, but okay. we're going to really roll it out in Charlotte next weekend. Okay, and when can we see it? Everywhere. Ne um, next week. So, um, what is that? April? April 1st, it'll be everywhere. Okay. 40dayfruitfast.com. 40dayfruitfast.com. If you're yes. on Facebook and you're serious about this life, the 40 Day Fruit Fast family page is the truth. You're going to get your knowledge there. There's some shenanigans. We have a good time. It's not <laughs> dull. There's definitely some shenanigans with all folks yes. going on. But if you're looking to learn something, that's definitely one of the pages you have to be on. Yeah, definitely go to Facebook and join the 40 day .com. You have a lot of resources there, right. free PDFs, a lot of the common questions people ask. You can get your um, answers there, personal trainers, nutritionists, everybody's there. And nobody's charging for any of the services. You can go there and get right. all of the help and resources free. I go for recipes. I mean, I go for the shenanigans too. I'm not even going to play because yes. everybody. We're heavy, we're heavy on shenanigans. Heavy, <laughs> heavy on shenanigans. Heavy on nigga shit. But we are about <laughs> our business. Yeah. And you're going to, listen, heavy on the food porn. Yes. I'm an eye eater. Yes. So I go for the food porn. Heavy I'm not on the food lie. porn. Heavy. And people share recipes. So, like you heavy said, on the memes. He heavy on the memes. It's heavy on the memes. Shenanigan heaven. But, um, and then just recently you went into a joint venture. Yes. With Black and Nobel. Yes. How's that working out? Um, it's it's going great. Um, I also have some joint ventures over in Cali blossoming blossoming right now. So right now on the business side everything is looking great. Um, I have a future venture uh, with uh, Brother Jehudi. Okay. So soon I might be uh, featuring the Mama Tomics on D Health Store. That'd be awesome. Okay. And um. That's it. Just keeping it moving, keep building, right. one foot in front of the other. I think that um, we're in the um, the baby stages of an of a entirely new uh, paradigm, and uh, I'm honored to be a part of it. Yes. Honored to be able to sit on the stage with greats like Jehudi, yes. who's already trailblazed the way to seven figures. So absolutely. Now we just gotta follow the follow the footsteps. We don't have to recreate the wheel. Right. We got a, um, a blueprint, and I think that that's important because um, financial health is is good. We talk about a lot of other types of health, but financial health, and I don't mean just having money. I mean right. how we go about getting it. Right how we chase the money. A lot of times, um, not just legal versus illegal, that, that seems to, to occupy most of our conversation, but even with a lot of the legal channels, the process of chasing the money, by the time we actually get some good degree of success, we're no longer in a position to enjoy it. Right. So I think that um, it's health-wise, karma-wise, there's a lot of things to consider. So. Um, there's a complete revolution that has to take place in terms of um, our health on all fronts coming out of the bondage and being um, colonized by the colonizer, Yes. right? The, the colonizer deals with us through our colons, right? right? So we have to be leery of the what's in our colon. 
just just Dealing like in the home, colonizer. the person who controls the food controls the house. Mm. Right? That's mm. what it says. As a woman, you Check. don't let nobody feed your man and your babies. Yep. Because the man, the person who feeds your man and your babies is the person that they're going to be in love with. Mm. That's why you have a lot of um, non-melanated white children. Non, not a non-melanated children. White children tend to fall in love with their Caribbean nannies. Mm. You know, yeah, of mm -hmm. course, we have our own little swag about us, so, you know, that's a draw period, but it's because of the love we put into our food. When we're so raising babies of any color, <laughs> we do. You know what I mean? We're, we're, as a woman, we're women who cook with love. We mm -hmm. love to cook. We love to nurture children, period. So it's only natural that when we cook for our babies, someone else's that's in our care, that love goes into that food. And what happens? Everybody's confused why, you know, Johnny Wonder Bread grew up loving Spanish women. Mm. or any other type of Caribbean woman. Why? Because you let him nurse from one of us, and that's all he knew. Yeah, you, you put him in college, he went to Harvard, but every sense of love he knew came through his home. That's the God's honest truth of it, you know? Mm. Ah, wait, did I just shut down the panel? Did, Inky, did I just get a uh, from Inky, like, yeah. It is. It is, you know. So, um, we talk about babies. You gotta go on um, Inky's YouTube channel also because he's got this vegan babies. <laughs> you gotta see some of Inky's um, lectures, period. Because, like we were saying earlier, it's supposed to be a 30 and he, the brother, goes in. Two hours <laughs> later, you see the background, the window's dark. But <laughs> it was sun when he started, and then it's dark out. But that's why he's lecturing himself. second today. He <laughs> will go on all day. Go in. He yeah. goes in. But I need y'all to go on. Give him your YouTube channel where they can see some of your lectures. And they Minister. need to go out and buy the Urban Kryptonite video anyway, but they need to check out the lectures. Yes, ma'am. Minister Inky St. Ray Out. My name is the YouTube channel, so um, just type in Minister. On Earth, probably longer than the baby boomers will be. So we, you have to get the people that's coming up next because someday they'll become older and with the information that they take from this, they can reach back and pass it to their children. And right. We can kind of keep growing on that because most of our parents, they're pretty much setting their ways right. for the most part. You know, they're like, well, I lived 60, 70 years like this, what do I need to change for? Right. You know, so most people don't look up until they flat on their back. Right. If they're in a the jam, they'll make a change. Right. If not, they won't leave it. Sometimes when they're in a the jam, they won't make the change because they're clouded with these chemical substances and they still can't make the, the right decision. If I cut your leg off from diabetes and you're still going to eat ice cream, that means right. that you have an addiction. You right. have a problem, a mental problem. So we have to start and address a lot of the things. I don't know what I do. I don't know what I do. If it wasn't for you, I don't know what I'd do. I don't know what I'd do. And we're back. <laughs> Live. <laughs> Mustafa had a good question that we're going to cover real quick. Um, again, we're in the Learning Tree Multicultural Center over here in the Bronx at 801 Bartholdi Street. And they do something very interesting. The principal here is big into holistic nutrition. So, um, Ken Mustafa raised the question of, you know, we have schools that preach that this is what they're into, this is what they want to do, but may they, they may not know how to go about getting the help to do it or how to get that ball rolling you know, with low sodium. We just want to keep childhood obesity out of our community and sickness out of our community. So how do we make that happen? With honesty, we have to be honest and realize that the companies responsible for the foods are the ones putting the insalubrious chemicals in the food, such as sodium. So there's that whole 
financial aspect okay. that makes things difficult. Like I would be in all of the schools right. if the schools would allow me in. <laughs> but I initially <laughs> serve in the best interest right. of those who have to gain, which are the food corporations or right. the corporate kitchen. Right. So it's, it's very nefarious people because a lot of the people who control the Weight Watchers and Jenny Craig's okay. and all those other companies, um, are also producing the things that push people into going to a Weight Watchers, Jenny right, Craig, et cetera, right. et cetera. So it, it's political people, you know, it's like with uh, Big Tobacco. Right. You know, it, it's Snapper Rouge, you know, so, it, it, you know, it's nefarious. Right. But I would be there, I'm open to it, I would be there. It's very simple, you get rid of salt. Right. That, their type I of, dye salt they, at they, least. Just all salt, because, see, here's the thing, people. It's really crude oil extract. It's a byproduct. We're talking uh, 32 chemicals. Can I get the sea salt? And on the on the label. Right? Um, well, the biggest thing um, I would say with children is mineral deficiency. So my thing, like um, for instance, we just rolled out the four pack now, where you get the Mama Tommy's, the Genesis Diffusion, and the Magnet, all for a wholesale price for everybody. And the reason is, is because. When we look at the chemicals, and we're going to talk about it today in the lecture, the biggest problem that they, they create in the body is other mineral deficiencies. So when you load up on sodium, sodium flushes magnesium, calcium from the body. So now when you flush magnesium from the body, that leaves the child's nervous system, neurons, and everything unprotected. And what do we put on top of that? Artificial sweeteners, fructose, etc. That's where they get the, where they can't sit well, down and they do an electric right? boogie, right, right, in the seat where they should be sitting down, right? right? So we get the minerals back in, we'll start to see some behavioral changes, and we'll start to flush some of those things out because all chemicals, like there's only a certain amount of elements on the chart. Everything has a, a catalyst and an antagonist. So if we know that the antagonist for, for instance, fluoride is iodine, as we push more kelp and dulse and Irish mom, right, Irish mom, right, all that stuff back into the diet, we flush fluoride and stuff out, cleansing the pineal gland, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So knowing those mineral relationships and knowing where to get those minerals is how we wrap that right on up, but like the brother said, getting us into the school system is going to be the tough part because the powers that be, they already got us like up on the board, the right. board throwing <laughs> darts at you want to post it. Exactly. So. How about we start with the simple part with the same schools, if we take away the dollar aspect, the same schools that say they want to do um, a holistic healing through proper nutrition, stop telling parents that if they want to send their children to school with a homemade meal of proper diet, then you need a doctor's letter. That's crazy. Why would I need a doctor's letter to treat my child well? If I was abusing my child, I would need a doctor's letter. You would have ACS up in here. So I should have ACS up in here against you and your school. Not to this school, but for treating my child poorly with poor nutrition. The people just need to become constitutionally astute because through the 14th Amendment, parents can raise their child any way they see fit. And that includes uh, a diet that it, it may be uh, culturally uh, conducive, or spiritually conducive, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we need to become constitutionally correct and use the same arguments that we do pertaining to vaccines also with food because we're dealing with that which comes inside the, the human body. So it also becomes a, a legal issue that, that could be fought if more people became legally astute, constitutionally astute in particular. And, and that's an extension of the Food and Drug Administration's whole deal because anytime you deal with medication, you have to go through a prescription with a doctor. Right. So what they're telling you is, if you want to send your children with medication, bring it with a prescription from a doctor because the food is loaded with drugs. So they know that the food must be regulated by the Drug Administration, etc., etc., etc. So we got to tell them that our children don't even eat food. Right. Food is for kids. Right. Children eat fruits kids and vegetables. Adults. 
Yeah. Kids right. are goats. Correct. Baby goats. I don't have any kids, so therefore my right. your rules do not apply right. to me. So if we knew a law, just like this whole Obamacare thing, we would know that it violates the 14th Amendment, the equal protection treatment clause, because we're not receiving equal treatment because Obamacare only acknowledges allopathic medicine. It does not acknowledge naturopathic medicine. Maybe you're into homeopathy. It doesn't acknowledge that. So that's not equal treatment under the law. But yet and still, if you consume a vegan diet or if you embrace naturopathy or homeopathy and not allopathy, why is it that you are still paying for a medical modality that you don't even believe in, let alone use? See, it's a constitutional issue. It's deep. It can get very, very deep. Grand opening. And grand, grand closing. closing. <laughs> and to be asked, we're going to head over to the tables, look at some products. Because right. the hoodie said that there was gonna, there's more, there's more to this series. So let us let us know what's going on here. Uh, we're currently we're working on Urban Kryptonite 2. We're actually in the midst of building that now. Uh, that features uh, Nubia High, uh, Queen of Four. I think she's from, she's from here in Brooklyn. Yes. Uh, yes. Shahrazad Ali, mm -hmm. uh, a host of uh, just a uh, Lennon on just a host of great speakers and entire people moving the high intellect. Um, we also have Full Body Detox, the movie, okay. coming out um, that, that supports the product as well, Full Body Detox, the movie. And then we also have the uh, Urban Kryptonite from the Vaults, which basically explains the making of this movie. I like I said earlier, I'm shooting, I did the Full Body Detox. So to see the movie, oh man, it's great. Um, so see, Your first time? That was my first time. Okay. That was my first time. How, how was your experience? Oh, man, I tell you, I was like, the first, first couple of days was hard because I want to eat for it. I like to eat. I'm a high eater, more. I think I, I need more I than I can eat. Right? So I want to eat. After two days, I was like, okay, I can, I can do this. But I'm like, there's nothing happening. Then all of a sudden, I broke out nagging and I said, this is working. Healing crisis. Yes. The healing crisis. Did you know about the healing crisis prior to your detox? I did, but when something didn't happen, kind of like right away, right. I was like, I'm good. I'm vegan for a couple of months. I'm clean. And the body said, Really? Let me show you something. Yeah, you're clean. You got to clean up some more. And it did just that. So I call something for my detox. And it's nice to hear there's going to be a movie that comes out. It's nice to hear um, a consumer testimony. We went to see a full length. Film. Go in depth about it, which is what people Yeah, because detox is so much more than just your diet. Right. You know, we cover the toxic relationships, mm -hmm. toxic chemicals, the toxic things that we clean our house with, right. and the toxic people, in right. addition to the, the unconducive toxic environment that we have around us. So it covers a large spectrum, and we also cover a subject that is very seldom we talk about. It's so, sort of taboo. That's the sexual, sexual battle. Battle. It's a mental and <coughs> right. toxic if it's not skilled. Absolutely. So what's what's the actual next product? Did someone mention that April first something would be the same? Uh, we have actually um, in April, that's when the urban kryptonite from the vaults will be coming out. And that's the making of where I give my testimony to Udi Mahara, where I give his testimony, and the good brother coach Jesus will tell how we are a good soul brother. Okay. Right. And then coming this summer, uh, around August, September, then we're going to have a full body of oxygen movement. Okay. And then next year, around early 2016, that's when Urban Kryptonite 2 will be released. So okay. be on the lookout for that. So we have to stay in touch and keep up because it's going to be promoted and featured here. <laughs> I'm glad I stepped in on all good folks. So, um, are you going to join us over at the table and see the vendors, see the products? Yeah, absolutely. Because we're going to get in the way. They have 
string of a film to do here, so we can't stay in your way. Well, actually, so just, actually, it's just a lecture today. Oh, the okay, screen, the, the screening screen was yesterday? yesterday. All right, so, so we're going to jump into lectures today. Yeah, we have the good sister, uh, Keisha Harris, back there. She's in urban kryptonite. Stage four cervical cancer survivor. Yeah. She told us she I, told that I she had... I did. I worked in ground zero, and I came through. I I went through two rounds. I was good, then I wasn't good. I'm here. Okay, well, I, I need I say more. You know, the magic is happening everywhere. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, we most definitely. You know, I just want to thank you, Gabby, for uh, giving us this platform. You know, uh, that's what it's all about. You know, we, we are taking our own efforts to put this message out and information out to the people, and uh, we just hope that it reaches the right one. It will. We're going to make sure of that. And if they don't listen, we'll drive until we get out of love. To make sure that something will get it. If we can get a handful of people to get it, they're going to spread. That's how this thing works. Absolutely. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to catch up. Yeah. Let's get the tables. Dodeca, which is for like fibroids, cancer, tumors. You have uh, Young, which is to. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Jason is not a good fan of white. Then you got Young, which is for uh, to pull uh, ammonia off the brain. started this entire movement, which is the Urban Kryptonite book, written by um, Cochise Taraksa, and we also have the film. So I would start with the book if you can, and then read the film. Um, we also have loads of uh, paraphernalia. You can wear an Urban Kryptonite t-shirt. We have cups, keychains, and my favorite, which is the newest, is an actual audio tape of what is the purpose of sex. Everybody knows that sex is for children to make babies, but do you really understand what the purpose of sex is? The energy, the energy, that's the energy that is exchanged. Yeah. Exactly. Alright folks, that's our show for today. We're always glad to have you up here at the Miss Gabby Show. I'm glad you followed along. Shout out again to the Vegan Mafia. Shout out to the 40 Day Fruit Fast family. Um, there's a lot of information for you today. I'm going to flash some um, website links. But just as a reminder, if there's any help you need, if you want to know how we can get you started or on the same journey to wellness, to vegetarianism, veganism, you can hit me up on my page, the Miss Gabby Show page, Miss Gabby Show page on Facebook, um, 40 Day Fruit Fast on Facebook, um, Urban Kryptonite. Dot com. Matter of fact, go order yourself the DVD. Get yourself the book and read. It's a lot of reading. Um, it's it's really in your best interest. It's heal yourself from the inside out. The body's a machine. We rely so much on, on pharmaceuticals. Guess what? I learned we don't have to do that. You know, you take care of your body, it will heal itself. So that's my word for today. Um, I hope y'all catch up to me. You know what it is. Miss Gabby Show, TV and TV. Yeah, uh, fresh up from the floor, you know what I'm saying? What they say, when the goal gets tough, get the hell out the way. Yeah, <laughs> that's official. But chill on everything, you know what I'm saying? Check this. Someone to think about, boy, I'm a mess. 
I go for the gusto and never for less. So smooth with the lingo, I call it an art. And I put that on my taxes and the zip to charge. I rock the front stage, you got the background. You buy the mall up, I shut the city down. Everything is everything, no matter how you get it. But understand the sacrifice, you gotta live with it. Uh, I'm just being honest. It's that your real hair got you blessed like Pocahontas. Yeah, I keep it fresh though when I'm dressed up. Long T stretched down, never ever tough. I'm a million dollar man, seeking for the billions. Sitting like the smoke from Papaya on the ceiling. Too big for Nina Brown flow, I'm on that Bill Gates. Putting the money where my mouth is, corporate real estate. Uh.